Are we ready? Uh, good evening. We had another splendid win by India over Kenya and the hero of the Trendle Cup. And we have winning coach Mr. Stephen Constantine and hero of the match Mr. Sanders Jingan with us. So coach, uh, given the circumstances that it was so hard outside in the raining, so how valuable will be the win in the coming days? Look, uh, Firstly, I want to congratulate the boys for a very, very hard, hard-fought uh, win. Um, difficult conditions, obviously, with the rain and the ball not being able to move around. We didn't play particularly well in the first half. Um, gave them too much space. Um, didn't play our usual game, but then I, I, we don't play water polo, so um, difficult to play in, in those conditions. But. Um, Look, the win gives us, uh, and by the way, another clean sheet. Thank you, Sandish. Um, it, it puts us into the final of, of this tournament, which is what we wanted to achieve from the beginning. Um, okay, next, next game. Next question, the floor is open. Yes, please. Uh, Sunil, you are the 100 games coach, two goals. Uh, your comments on that and... Uh, he just about scored that penalty, didn't he? Yeah. But uh, no, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I was thinking before this game, you know, who's going to spoil this day for him? Uh, and, and for us, obviously, um, I'm delighted that he got a couple of goals um, and obviously delighted that we won. Um, so I don't think he's going to forget that for some time. Yes, please. Uh, any comments on the crowd and the atmosphere? Look, um, I said before, I don't feel that we should be um, uh, begging people to come and watch their own national team. Um, the response uh, today was unbelievable, what I expect uh, from uh, the Blue Pilgrims and, and the rest of the people. It's not only the Blue Pilgrims, but um, uh, when your national team is, is, is playing the way we've been playing for the last uh, three and a half years, uh, when they have achieved the things that we've achieved the three and a half years, uh, it was hugely disappointing to see such a such a crowd in the last game. They more than made up for it today, and, and I thank every single one of them, and I expect them to be here at the following two games. So just taking over from it, uh, Sandesh, you play for Kerala Blasters and Kerala Blasters fans are most voracious fans over India. So can the Blue Play Games match up them, or was it the same level? Well, of course, I've been lucky enough to have played in really, you know, but of good fans, be it the Kela Blasters, the Manjapara, or the Western Blues, now the Blue uh, Blue Games. But there's no competition, and there's when you come playing in for India. Uh, it's, it's really great to play in Mumbai, and I'm really happy that they all came in. The Blue Blue Games is a power that everyone from the, all the parts of the country, they come together. So uh, it's really, it's really, I feel really lucky and privileged to play in front of them, and there's great support. I'm lucky, I'm very happy that we have delivered it today, to make them happy, so they can go with a smile on their face. So I'm really happy. Thanks. Nikhil? Coach, we are completely different side in the second half. A lot more aggression. After a hard fought first half, it's very zero zero. What magic word did you apply in the half side? You know, I can't repeat those magic words. Because <laughs> then I'll be using bad language. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, what I will say is that um, we needed to, to get a hold of the midfield, which we had not. We were playing a little bit too deep now. Uh, the weather didn't help, um, the rain as well, the water, so, so, so I, I will give us the benefit of the doubt. Um, but in the second half, we, we, we did the job that we're supposed to do, um, as we did in the previous game. Uh, won most of the second balls in the second half, controlled the tempo, controlled the pace. And, you know, Kenya, um, they're always going to be a difficult side, um, whichever team they bring. Um, and it was a great result for us, and uh, I'm very pleased for, for everybody. My question is to Sandesh. Sandesh, uh, first half, the underfoot conditions were they did a little bit with an intense lead, uh, and getting worse as the time passed by. So, the so, usual passing game was not to be because the ball was not rolling. So, who took the initiative to lift the ball, make those locked balls? Did anyone take the initiative or it was the team of I think it was quite 
simple that that's the way we had to play because there was all was about to go all scoring on the field and it was same for both the teams and there was no other alternative to play. You can't pass the ball around. We did few mistakes. Uh, first, I uh, tried to play when the, then the coach corrected us and, and uh, the signal. room. But during the first time, I think we both the teams realized that, that you have to go along. Simple as that. Uh, same for both the teams and the beat shape for both of them in the first half. Second half, the uh, water was almost gone. Then we started to play our game and we scored three beautiful goals. And we deserved to win and we won. Caution. Sandeesh, you know, the crowd kind of responded to us very good. And you realize that the stadium is almost sold out. Was there an added pressure to win to win to make sure, you know, uh, there's no pressure in this, to be honest. Uh, you want to play in stadiums where people are there to watch you. You, know, you don't want to go to a ground where there's someone to care about you or no one watches you. But it was extra motivation, I would say, when we came in, uh, when the bus entered the stadium and we saw everyone, people were waiting and all that. So that gave us an extra push, an extra edge. In the dressing room as well, we were talking about this, that they came uh, and now we, deliver, we need to deliver. And we did. And then I'm really happy that it all went good. Good. Yes, please. So the second successive game, they played the midfield pairing of Rahana and another Thapas. You hold on the comments now, satisfied are you with the two of them? They played. <coughs> they started, so I must be satisfied. <laughs> uh, look, before I go into that, I, I, I have to say a special thank you to the Andari uh, people who are looking after this pitch. I have never seen so much rain in my life in one moment, and the game looked like it, there was no rain in the second half. I mean, the job they've done um, throughout this uh, uh, event has been spectacular again. So, yeah. Look, um, I put, every time I put a team out, I put the team out to win. I never put a team out to lose. Okay, I don't, I don't do that. Um, we've had some, um, some very, very good results over the last, especially the last year and a half. Um, everybody that plays gives everything they have. Some give more, some give less, that's why they're in, that's why they're out. Um, the work rate from the midfield uh, today, especially in the second half, the back four and the front two was phenomenal. Um, we have three and a half years worth of um, numbers on how hard we work during games. The game against Chinese Taipei was one of our highest in terms of work rate. Um, we, uh, we deserve to win, I think, in the end, um, but they, 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 they have to work, and I think uh, they do, at least for me. Anil. We shall see. Yes. Uh, question to Sandesh. Firstly, uh, how's the injury? And second, uh, when you were <coughs> coming off the game, uh, coming uh, as a substitute yeah. now, you see the moment, Richard. Can you elaborate on that moment? Well, the injury, uh, we need to examine and go back to the hotel uh, to see with Gigi how it is. I got some swelling, but I think I'll be fine. And I just wanted to, I wanted to shake hands with him because it's another game and it's separate relations. <laughs> simple and just simple. We also want to do this for the, just like a simple gesture. I just want to shake hands with him because he's my captain, so nothing, nothing special. Just shake hands. Last three, Orpo. No, um, no. Um, we had uh, lost our way a little bit in terms of regaining the second ball because we were too deep. Um, so the back four were okay, but when the midfield four were on the toes of the back four, whenever Anas Sandesh or any of the other lads were winning that second ball, it was bouncing and you could see two, three Kenyans uh, um, by themselves. Now, one thing that we did is we showed them clips that we, were, we tag the game live, so we, we, we do the analysis live. So at half time we have the opportunity to uh, show one or two clips. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think if you ask the players, me telling them is okay, they believe me, but then seeing it is, is so much better. Uh, so we, we have been able to do this where we can um, one or two clips and say, look, this is where we are, this is what we're doing. Um, and in the second half, um, we were much, much better. And that's, that's I, I believe, the, the reason we won the game. Uh, what, uh, what do you think about 
think about this tournament. Uh, is help India team uh, for this uh, uh, How is the way? Okay. Um, any international that we play um, from the moment that we qualified, uh, I, I have been using the, the game from Myanmar and on as an uh, opportunity to, to, to play players, um, to try a few things out. Um, it's very, very important. Um, I, I can't tell you, normally we would not play in this time of year. Um, there is a, a South Cup in September and then you have one game in October, one November and a camp before the Asian Cup. But we need more games. Um, and if the government's listening to me, um, send us to the Asian Games. Um, it's an under 23 event. We have 11 players in this squad who are under 23. Um, the benefit is huge. Um, that we will gain from the Asian Games with these players. So, um, to answer your question, yes, it's it's a huge help. Last one. Uh, so, it uh, often came down to a physical one-on-one -on -one battle uh, for you uh, versus especially, and you had some of those battles in the Asian Games against this team and against Kyrgyzstan as well. So, uh, looking back at those games, do you think uh, that this unit is ready for the physical challenge that will be there in Asia? Of course, uh, we are ready, but it's always room for improvement. You know, still the team is improving, and uh, in every game when you watch, you know, there's some good points, there's some bad points. So we need to be humble for the good points. Yeah, we won battles, we won, but we need to learn from the weaknesses because we didn't win all the battles, all the duels. So just keep working, just stay humble. You know, keep working in the ground, listen to the staff, and then the, eventually we'll be ready for the Asian Cup. There's still time for it. Thank you everyone. Good night.